Today we are making frozen pink lemonade bombs that are shaped like bunnies. How cute are these? So let's get started. So first you will need the infamous bunny mold and you're going to want a food processor or a blender. So first thing into the blender is what will make these bunnies pink and that is watermelon. So this is one cup of watermelon and then for the sweetness because lemonade is always super sweet we're going to use some sugar. And you know like when you're shopping for sugar and like you look at the shelf and you see that super fine sugar and you're always like why does this exist? Super fine sugar is it's like a finer grain than regular sugar so it's going to dissolve in the drink better it won't taste gritty you know that texture and we're just pouring that directly on top and the next ingredient is obviously lemons so i have the coolest tool in the world it looks like this this is not sponsored but this is amazing and you need it so what you do is you get a lemon and you can kind of just like press it a couple times and that will break up the little i don't know juice pockets and release the juice easier. Cut one in half. And then what you do is open it up and it has like two different levels, right? So you put it upside down like that and then you press it down. And then as you're like holding it closed, you just pour and the juice comes out. You're also left with like a very interesting lemon. I feel like this is the most satisfying part because like the shape of the lemon. But yeah, so this is the easiest way. Are you serious? Oh my God, oh my God. Of course, of course it happened while I was filming. I spilled the whole, the whole cup. <laughs> no, none of you want this, this juicer. We have a cup of lemon juice. I'll write how many lemons it is down below. And I'm just gonna pour it in. I am sticky everywhere. And then to this, I am going to add one cup of water. You don't wanna drink this straight because this is a condensed, version, but that's what we want for the bunnies. Okay, so now I'm putting the rabbit mold on a baking sheet, like a tiny one. This one needs to be able to fit in your freezer. So you can put on like a book or something too, something hard that will keep these level. I just washed my hands, but this little measuring bowl thing is sticky. If you want another way of making these pink instead of watermelon, you can use roses instead, which is like a really cool technique. And um, I've done that before. So I will link that in the cards here. Okay, so now I am going to take these into the freezer and leave them overnight or until they are frozen solid. Okay, so it is the next day and the bunnies are frozen. Now the surface is very sticky because of the sugar, so just keep that in mind. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, it is so cute. We're gonna pick up a bunny. Oh God. On top of each bunny, you wanna pour two cups of water so if you are one of those obnoxious people like me who only drinks sparkling water soda stream hit me up please um you can use sparkling water so that's what i'm using here okay that is the perfect level of cold obviously you can taste the lemon you can taste the watermelon and it isn't grainy okay this that is why we're using the super fine sugar that makes such a difference Anyways guys, I love you all so much and I will see you on Saturday for a new video.